In this final video of my Combined Means mini-series, I'm going to show you how to use my balancing method to solve problems like this one. I think this is really tricky without this method, and I'd love to hear how you could do it a different way. We get given many weights in this problem, but they're all either 3 kilograms or 8 kilograms. The question is, how many of each different weights do we need to make these different numbers as our mean average weight. Let me show you how to do four kilograms then, and you can try the other ones on your own. So if we want an average of four kilograms, we're going to set up our balancing seesaw method as usual. And at each end, well we've got three kilograms at this end, and eight kilograms, at this end. We've got no idea which number of each we need, but if we want to make four kilograms as our mean overall, that means we're putting a balancing point here at four kilograms. And on my diagram, look, I've represented it a lot closer to three because it is. The distances here are what are really, really crucial for us. So thinking about those distances, this distance from 3 to 4 is just 1, and from 4 to 8 on the other side, we've got 4. Thinking back to our method, the distances are in a ratio that is the inverse to the weights, or the forces. So if we've got 1 to 4 as a ratio of our distances, that means our ratio of 3 kilograms to 8 kilograms must be the inverse of that ratio. So instead of 1 to 4, we need 4 to 1. Let's check if this actually works then. So if you took 4 3 kilogram weights, which we try 4 lots of 3 kilograms, and 1 lot of 8 kilograms, well, in total we have five weights. Four times three is twelve, plus eight would give you twenty, so that's twenty over five, which is four kilograms on average. So this method definitely works. I'm not sure of another way to nicely get the answers to these questions. If you could find your own though, I'd be really interested. Please let me know in the comments.